Well, as you just heard live here on Fox and Friends, we just had Congressman Schmidt talking about getting threatening voicemails. It's happening on both sides of the aisle, and both sides say, this has got to stop. It's stupid. I'm not naive enough to think that letters, statements, or press releases will prevent anyone disturbed enough to commit violence from acting. But I do know that such letters, statements, and press releases can very easily fan the flames. By ratcheting up the rhetoric, some will only inflame these situations to dangerous levels. Enough is enough. It has to stop. And he was talking about how somebody uh, pumped a bullet into his office in Richmond, Virginia. Why is there suddenly such a backlash of trouble? Well, right now we are joined with our panel. De uh, Deneen Borelli is a fellow for Project 21 and a Fox News contributor. Rick Grinnell, a former spokesperson for UN Ambassador John Bolton. And Benjamin Barber is a senior fellow at Demos. And we thank you all for getting up so early on this Friday. Sure. Thanks. All right, uh, Benjamin, what do you think about this? Uh, Cantor says it's got to stop. Well, it's got to stop. By the way, no one pumped a bullet in. The bullet went up and came down again. The police have reported very clearly no bullet was shot into his window. It was a random shot. And I don't want to just say... Hey, they were shooting the at facts. his office. No, they weren't. They weren't. That's the point. Check out the facts there. But let's talk about why it's happening, because that's, I okay. know, what we want to do uh, today. And the last thing we want to do is ratchet up rhetoric, and we're all trying to ratchet it down. But I think it is important that we understand the connection between what the wing nuts and the loonies in our society do and what our elected representatives do, because I think there is a connection, and it sometimes has to do with the rhetoric on both sides. But my basic explanation is that we have now a situation in which the party that lost on the vote seems so angry and so encouraging of rage all over the country. Wait, are you saying it's it Republicans who are doing all this stuff? Not all. They're doing a lot of it, though. They're How doing do you know? it because they're angry. I hear them. That? I listen to them. They say we're angry. The Just people are angry. They're saying that the Congress doesn't represent the American majority, even though the okay. American majority elected Rick, the Congress. Just because people are angry doesn't mean they're shooting bullets at somebody's office or they're clipping somebody's propane tank. Yeah, totally. I mean, the first thing we have to say is violence is wrong. It, it shouldn't of happen course. anywhere. But I've never seen such thin skin in my entire life. These are members of Congress. People are angry. You're this right. is a takeover of one fifth of the economy. Economy. We're not going to sit back and just do nothing about this. We are really angry. When, when Barack Obama gets up and he asks the crowd, are you fired up? Are you fired up? We don't jump to the conclusion that he's trying to arm the crowd. When, when other people have rhetoric of there's two Americas, like what John Edwards was, right. was trying to say, we weren't is immediately assuming that he's trying to make a right. civil war. I mean, come on, you, you got to get some thin skin. Rick, here. you dealt with this in the Bush administration because of you course. would see threats all the time. Of course. I mean, try walking down the street with John Bolton. There's shouts of support and there's shouts of anger. I mean, people right. are angry about policies, and this is America. They have a right to be angry about policy. I say, Th let's bring it on. All right. Uh, just as the president said yesterday in Iowa City, but in an exactly uh, different way. Uh, Deneen, what about uh, Eric Cantor saying that the Democrats? have used these and the Democrats were the ones to first report these things yeah, well, as a political weapon against the Republicans yeah there's to a, marginalize them to mar exactly that that's where I was going with this right. because it, I'm concerned about the fact that you have some liberals who are using their race card to push their agenda for them to try to marginalize the Tea Party movement which is not about how the race, race card how the race card well I've been targeted personally uh, because of what I because of my uh, independent views about liberty and small government and I'm not on national news until today to to say that this has happened. I'm only here to point out that they're using it to advance their agenda. They're using it to take the focus off of what the real core mm -hmm. issues are about. And, and clearly, when black conservatives are targeted, where's all the mass media for us? Yeah. Good point. Where's right. Al Sharpton? We're just getting started. We're going to continue the conversation with the panel in uh, just about two minutes. In the meantime, young entrepreneurs say the health care bill may keep us in the recession for a long time. Hear from a 27-year-old self-made millionaire who says he'd rather make nothing at all than get taxed to pay for the overhaul. And the Senate holds up extending unemployment benefits. This time, Senator Tom Coburn, the doctor, puts on the brakes. He will join us live.